Hello everyone. Today I am going to show you how we can use Informix database as a data source for Tableau software. So before starting the demo, let me quickly share some important details. As displayed in the screen, there are some prerequisites which are required to perform this task. The first one is Tableau software. The second one is Informix database. The third one is Informix CSDK, which we also call client SDK. And the fourth and the most important one is the data. For this demonstration, I'll be using the latest 64-bit Tableau desktop version, which we can easily download from the Tableau website. The Informix database version, which we are using, is 12.10.fc13, and the Informix client SDK version is 4.50.fc1. We can run onstat hyphen command to get the Informix database version and esql-v command to get the Informix client SDK version. For this exercise, we have created a sample data file to insert some data into our database. Here, we are creating a database named Wimbledon, a table named stats, and it includes data fields, gender, champion name, champion nationality, runner-up name, runner-up nationality, match year and the total match time. To make this demonstration concise, we have already inserted the data into our database. And here is the final output view, which we will achieve in this demonstration using the Tableau data visualization tool over the inserted data. This output dashboard contains stats from two different data sheets. The first one is the champion and the second one is the runner-up where each of these sheets contains graphical representation of all the Wimbledon's final matches data. With this data visualization, we can clearly figure out which player has played the most number of total minutes in all his career's Wimbledon finals as a champion and as a runner. -up. This visualization includes stats of both the segments, the men's and the women's. And this is how it is going to look in the dashboard. This data is coming from the champion sheet and this data is coming from the runner-up sheet. All the data is categorized in two segments, the men's and the women's. Same here, the men's and the women's. Also, these data is ranked from the high to low. High to low. Same goes for women's, high to the low. Now, I am going to demonstrate the process how we can use Informix database as a data source inside the Tableau software. For that, we will open the Tableau software. Now, we need to select other databases ODBC options from the to a server list. Here, we will get an option of driver. Now, we need to select IBM Informix ODBC driver from the drop down menu. Now we will click on the connect button. Here you will get all these options inside the connection menu the server name, host name, the service, protocol, database name, user ID, and password. You need to put your user ID and password in place. And you will get the options of databases. For this exercise, we will choose the Wimbledon database from the drop down list. And now we can test our connection. It got successful. Now we we'll press the OK button and then the sign in. If everything is fine, it should take us to the data source panel inside the Tableau software. Here you can see the database Wimbledon is there and there is an option to select this schema. We will not get any schema directly here. We need to press this search button. After that, the schema will come. We will select that schema. And the same goes for the table. We need to press this search button here. And we will get the table. Now, to see the information inside the table, to see the data, we need to drag this table here and press this update now button. 
that's great. We got all the data here from the stats table. As now, we have achieved the basic functionality of Tableau software to get the data from the data source, which is in our case as the Informix database. Therefore, now we will proceed to make some sheets and the dashboard. So let's click on the sheet one. We will rename it to the champion sheet. Now we will create some visualization here using the data from the database. For that, we have the dimensions here and the measures here. As we have shown in the demo earlier, we are going to use gender as a category and the name and the sum of total match time as a value. There it goes. In the right hand side, there is a show me panel in the tablet software. Here we can choose the different different visualization graphs according to our needs. In our case, we are going to choose the tree map. And here it goes. The desired result is here. It has categorized the data into two segments. The first one is the men's till here. And the second one is the women's from here to here. And the data is automatically ranked from the highest number of the total match time to the lowest number of the total match time. Same goes for the women from the higher to the lower. So this data was for the champion. Now we can create a second sheet for the runner up. Here we can use the same technique as we used in the champion sheet. We need to take the runner up name as a value and the total match time as a value and the gender as a category. So we'll put gender here and the runner up name in the rows which is the value and the total match time as a value again. As you can see we need to select the map according to our needs. So we are using the tree map here and here it goes. Also we can choose a different kind of maps like pack bubbles. It's showing the data like this way. The men's are in the blue and the women's are in the orange. The highest number of the total match time is there to the Roger Federer as you can see. And for women it's Jim Lloyd and we can visualize the data accordingly. So for our, this demonstration we are using the tree maps and the data will look like this. So our both the data sheets are ready now, the champion and the runner up. Now it's time to create a dashboard so that we can visualize both the data sheets together there. To create a dashboard, we need to right click on this plus icon here and we'll get a new dashboard option. Once we press this, our dashboard layout will pop up. So in the left hand side, there is a sheet panel and it will contain all the available sheets in the tablet worksheet. Now finally, we can drag the sheets from here to the dashboard panel and we can create amazing data visualization model out of it. Now I would like to conclude this demonstration with my closing statement. With the Tableau and the Informix, possibilities are endless in the data visualization and in the data analytics field. Thank you.